Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in the ongoing saga of Google deprecating Manifest V2 extensions in favor of Manifest V3 extensions, it seems now that Google is ramping up its efforts to deprecate V2 extensions like uBlock Origin. Because if we head into the Chrome Web Store, you'll notice now that if I do a search for uBlock Origin, there's a new message. This extension is no longer available because it doesn't follow best practices for Chrome extensions. And you've only got the option now to remove from Chrome, where previously this banner said it was soon to be unsupported or deprecated and would be removed from the browser. Now, as you can see, the message has changed completely. It's no longer available because it doesn't follow best practices according to Google. Now, basically, the reason Google is transitioning from MV2 extensions to MV3 extensions is because Google says it presents security risks by allowing unreviewed code to be executed in extensions. And as an example, V3 only allows an extension to execute JavaScript as part of its package. So that's the gist of, um, it's all because of security, according to Google, which obviously has been met with a lot of debate. But although it says it's no longer available from the Chrome Web Store, the extension is still installed and still enabled. But obviously now, you won't be able to download uBlock Origin for whatever reason, if you remove it from your browser, you won't be able to reinstall it and download it once again from the um, the Chrome Web Store. So as mentioned, Google now really ramping up the efforts to get rid of Manifest V2, including uBlock Origin. And I have had a check in the Chrome Web Store, um, in Chrome Canary as well, and it's exactly the same message. So that seems to be now officially the case where uBlock Origin is no longer available and just on a side note um, i have posted a video about a couple of alternatives that um, you can try out because chrome is deprecating uBlock origin mv2 and i'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen somewhere over here if you would be interested and obviously if and when it ever gets removed completely from google chrome then obviously I will post and let you guys know because this has gained quite a lot of interest and is affecting a large number of users when it comes to ad blocking and um, the Google Chrome web browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.